first graders, I'm going to read you a story today. It's called Peter Rabbit's Happy Easter. Peter Rabbit was feeling very sorry, as he had been a very naughty little bunny yesterday. He had snuck into Mr. McGregor's garden, though his mother had clearly told him not to, and he lost his quite new blue jacket. Now Peter was determined to do something wonderful for his mother, so she would see what a good little bunny he really was. Then she would love him more than she loved his sisters, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who never seemed to do anything wrong. And soon began Peter Rabbit's exciting Easter adventure. One sunny morning, Peter was walking past Mrs. McMullen's hen house when he saw that there were many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So, he took a few eggs from the hen house as he went along on his way. By and by, Peter walked past Mr. Holloway's hen house where he saw that there were many, many, many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So, he took a few eggs from Mr. Holloway's hen house and went along on his way. Ooh, he doesn't look very happy. Not much later, Peter walked past Mrs. Jones's hen house and saw once again that there were many, many, many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So, he took a few eggs from Mrs. Jones's hen house and went along his way. Now by noon, Peter had gathered an enormous number of eggs, which he carried to his home at the bottom of a very big fir tree. What a good little bunny I am, thought Peter. Mother will be so pleased. As you may have guessed, Peter was not the tidiest of little rabbits, and as he tried to carefully stack the eggs, Against a wall, several open jars of paint, yellow, orange, red, blue, purple, blue, green, they all toppled over. And what a wonderful accident it was. The eggs were now decorated with all the colors of the rainbow. Presently, old Mrs. Rabbit returned from the baker's to find a house full of painted eggs. I gathered them just for you, Peter said. Now, my dear, said old Mrs. Rabbit, quite amazed by the inventiveness of her son's mischief. While I appreciate your good intentions, you should not take what isn't yours. You really must return these eggs to their owners. So that night, Peter returned every one of the colorful eggs. And the next day, Mrs. McMullen's, Mr. Holloway's, and Mrs. Jones's children, along with other children of the neighborhood, were delighted by what they found scattered in their garden. As it happened to be Easter Sunday, the once quite naughty Peter Rabbit started a new tradition and earned himself a respectable new name. And Peter Rabbit became the Easter Bunny. The end. <laughs>